Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Colin Receiver. It's May 19th, and today we're going to finish our look at Sally Hogshead's seven ways to get people to buy into your ideas. Today, we're going to talk about alarming your patients when we get back. So we spent last week looking at Sally Hogshead's seven key ways that people receive and process different kinds of messages. Ms. Hogshead is a former advertising creative director who's worked with huge brands around the world, Coke, Nike, Target, Godiva, Rolex, Mini Cooper. She's a Hall of Fame speaker, an international author and researcher, and she's identified seven personality triggers and how to sell ideas to each one. Just as a reminder, the seven personalities, the seven traits are power, passion, mystique, prestige, alarm, which we're going to talk about today, and later this week, rebellion and trust. Last Friday, we talked about prestige. Today, I want to talk about alarming your patients. Now, this will sound very similar to Dr. Robert Cialdini's idea of scarcity in that people are more motivated by a perceived loss than by a potential gain. Ms. Hogshead has found that people are more likely to select safe, conservative options, and alarm is all about safety. But safe is rarely good. Boring is actually a risk for you when you are trying to present a new idea. So if you're going to give a patient who is missing teeth solutions, you should emphasize the negatives of doing nothing as well. An interesting uh, correlation we found to this exact principle is we wrote a book for a doctor, uh, the exact same book, but we put two different covers on the book. So on one batch of books, the book was titled, Don't Die With Your Teeth in a Glass. On the other book, the title was, You Don't Have to Live With Your Teeth in a Glass. A very subtle change everything else equal except for the title of the book. This doctor is using this book to hand out during consults to increase his expertise. He's sending it out in a shock and all package to new prospective patients to show them options that are, all, are available. He's selling it on Amazon. Uh, he's also selling it through his website as a free report offer to get people into his funnel. What we found is that almost two to one people request the don't die with your teeth in a glass book to the you don't have to live with your teeth in a glass. So the negative idea of dying without any teeth is much more powerful and motivates many more people to request the book, buy the book, as well as move forward with treatment to the more conservative, uh, more um, benefit of gain of you don't have to live. Come back tomorrow, and we'll look at rebellion as a motivator. Until then, keep moving forward.